what's up, I'm Alex. It's me, I'm a Jane on Emma Jane TV, and <sighs> finally I'm going to do Mamma Moo. I know I'm a bit late, but because of the job, I've been working way too hard. Plus, I've got uh, to write down on my on my calendar the timings of my and uh, the days that I'm going to work, so I know how many hours I've been working. So that's all good, and. We're here, finally. A plus, I've been sick, so yeah, and I needed to catch up with anime as well, like JoJo, and now I'm watching Haikyuu. Also, I need to catch up with One Piece. That's just a bit sick. And yes, we are going to do Mama Moo Story Night. I know I, I haven't heard anything about it. I just know it's there, and it's been sitting on my, on my like um on the, you know the list where you watch later kind of section playlist so yeah and here we are and who are we going to do it and in three two one go 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 oh beautiful i love i love this landscape beautiful we got some lovely trees Listen, her melanin is popping right now. Oh, Mumbiul, look at her hair. I love Quas and her long locks. Look at Sorn. Uh, no, it's not Sorn. Sorry. Ah, oh, Solar. Sorry, wrong, wrong name. <laughs> Look at this queen. Listen, this woman looking like a goddess. Wow. I know that's, that's um, Moonbeam. She looks good with... Listen, Solar looks good with blonde hair. She looks amazing. Listen, woman. I cannot even. Do you know, I envy Hwasa's thighs. Hwasa's thighs are life. I wish I had those thighs like that, like hers. Like, very, you know. I envy her fires. I wish I had fires like hers. Seriously, I, I mean, actually, honest. Her fires, her fires. Men, there's a lot of men out there that are in love with Quasa's fires. Even lesbians as well. That's what they all stare at is Quasa's fires because they're all perfect proportion of the way it's shaped. It's just, and it's not very usual in Korea. So yeah. Yeah, I know that's and I knew it's Moonbeal. Moonbeal looks good with short hair and blonde locks. But listen, Hwas is looking good with long hair. I love her short hair, but she is looking good. I imagine Solo has been after life with changing the hair colour. <coughs> listen. Even Hwasa's skin tone colour is Beautiful. Her tan skin is, is gorgeous. It just looks. <coughs> the song, I'm not gonna lie, I like the song. Wow, beautiful. I love the editing, that kind of editing in it. Seeing like you see like a millions of stars, it looks beautiful. I love it. Wherever this was filmed, I love it. I love the the location. Again, it's just beautiful to look at. Cause you look you look at the beauty of Mother Nature and how this is created and how it looks. It's just Her hair! God, 
eyelash. Not even my my hair looks like it looks ridiculous. My hair looks it's not even lines, man, it's just meh, it's there. Compared to them, they're like, wow, fabulous. Wow. So that was Starry Night. That was oh, that was breathtaking. Everything about it, like from from the from the from Mama Moo looking beautiful to to the locate beautiful location to beautiful editing to beautiful song and I loved it I am impressed again another 10 out of 10 I don't know I won't sugarcoat everything because you know me there are some that I won't sugarcoat I will be honest but this was oh it's just I understand people are, are not standing Mama Moo anymore because of the problems they're going to, you know, like blackface and other stuff and race and some people that were not impressed by it. But then again, they're not perfect. None of them are. And they they're human beings. They will still make mistakes regardless. So and I'm not defending anyone at all whatsoever. I'm just saying the facts. Just to let you know that all artists and people who who we seem to look up to uh, do mistakes, just like everyone else, because at the end of the day, they're human beings. So with that said, um, I enjoyed this, and this was a fun experience to look at. It kind of remind me of, you know those videos that, even the sound, it kind of remind me of, I don't remember the song, but it was an English song that has that kind of sound. But I forgot. It's just I'm blank because I was taking a. I was literally. Oh, I just think I, I could. I think I. I could be wrong. But you kind of remind me. You know the type of song that David Guetta would do, or I think is it Garrett Martin Garrett. I forgot his name. This is the type of music they would do. Like, the, it's the sound. I think it's the sound of the instrumental kind of music that they would do. Honestly. Kind of, it's like a, a slow jam EDM. Because that's what it was to me. But it was just breathtaking. So with that said, it was 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, I've Wow, I'm in love with it. So with that said, I love you all. And you and everyone. And... Sarah Hill.